Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance if my voice sounds a little bit raspy, but I'm just getting over a bit of like a head cold slash sinus infection, so please bear with me. In this um, video today, we are going to be doing a pretty massive haul of Halloween stuff that I've gotten the last couple weeks. I'm going to share with you some of the things I made for a craft fair that I participated in. And we're also going to do a little giveaway at the end of the video as well. If you are new, I would love for you to take a minute, hit that subscribe button, and join my YouTube family. And also, follow me over on Instagram at houseofhome underscore xoxo. So the first thing I picked up are these Joanna Parker mugs. Um, they are very popular and I've been seeing them all over like Instagram and YouTube. And I got these um, from Ross. This one is a spider. And they were $7.99, I believe. I love the back, how his legs kind of hang down. And if you look these up online, they go for a lot more. So if you can find them at Ross, definitely grab them. Uh, this one is like a bat. And again, he was $7.99 as well. And that's what the back of what he looks like. And then the two back here, they actually came in a box set. So they were a little cheaper. I think it was like $15 for the two. And they're both like different versions of mummies. This one is a cat. And that's what the back of that one looks like. And then the other one is just a regular mummy. And I love the how like one's black and the other one's orange and they kind of look like a little matching set. Super cute. I love the vintage feel of these. And there are a couple other ones I'd like to get my hands on, but if not, this was definitely a good way to start out my collection. And I can't wait to decorate with them. Next, I picked up this candy corn wreath at a local shop's fall open house. Um, I always like need some more like wreaths for Halloween because I think I only really have like the ones from my front door and then like two mini ones. So when I saw this, um, I just really like the candy corn. They kind of look like they have like a little bit of sugar on them. And then at the same time, this looks very rustic. And, you know, just very whimsical. So when I saw this, I decided to pick it up. And I'll probably hang that on probably like one of my barn doors or something. Next is kind of like a little mix of things I got from yard sales and thrift stores. First, this um, burlap ribbon was at a thrift store and it was 49 cents. And you get a good amount and has all like different little Halloween sayings on it. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But for 50 cents, I thought maybe it would uh, be something that would come in handy. Next, I got this little bucket from the same thrift store for 50 cents. And I like to get little things like this to like hang in um, just like the arms of some of my bears and stuff to make them look more Halloween. Next, I got this wooden bat. He also was 50 cents, I believe, at the thrift store. And just very simple. Um, that'd be good for a tear tray. Liked all the distressing on him. Um, this uh, skeleton I got at the craft fair, actually. There was a lady next to me who was selling like yard sale items. And this, I believe, was like 75 cents. And it had like a little sign in its hand and there was like paper, but it peeled off. So I thought it would just be really cool. Kind of add my own little personalized sign. I don't know what it will say yet. And then I also bought this off of her. I liked his metal legs and his shoes. And I kind of put him on the edge of the stove here so you can see. But very cute. Um, I believe he, she only wanted like 3 or $4 for him, so picked him up too. Thought the little top hat and all was adorable. So yeah, just a lot of fun little finds for very cheap. Um, always keep your eye out at yard sales this time of year. 
Next, I went to Michael's and to Boscov's, which Boscov's is a local store we have here in Pennsylvania. Um, I found these two little guys. Um, I don't even know exactly. I guess they're just like, he's like a skeleton. And the other one is a ghost. And I just think they're really cute. They have like little fur for bodies. And I don't know, just really cute little details. They were only like $3 a piece. Next, um, in Michael's, I got two of these ceramic pumpkins. Um, they come white, and you can paint them, so that's what I did. I painted it orange and black, and I love how bright these light up. I think they're really, really nice quality, and I got them because I'm going to put one on each corner of my fireplace, so definitely see those in upcoming videos. Also from Michael's is this little clot skeleton guy. He was on a pick, but I took him off because his legs bend, so you could just sit him really easily. And he was like in the wreath pick section. And then lastly, when I was at a yard sale, I forgot to show you guys this. This was in like a box with like little Christmas ornaments and stuff. And I fell in love. He is so cute. I love the little uh, cloth head and body and the springs for legs. So cute. And the lady sold them to me for only 25 cents. So can't wait to use him. Probably hang him on one of my Halloween trees. Moving on to some primitives from my primitive lovers. Um, I got four different things. First is this spider guy. Um, got him at the craft fair that I participated in and I just love the legs on this um, the way the lady like picked out twigs that actually would like bend up in the different directions I think that's so fun it says eek and I just think the face it's, it's just real weird but that's what I love about it and then this little ghost head I just got recently at the local shop for like three bucks and then lastly, all these little stuffed candy corns come with this big guy, and his name is Mr. Corn, and I found him on Facebook Marketplace. Um, a lady made them. So I placed an order, and I wasn't disappointed. He is super cute. I love his little arms and legs. And yeah, love finding Halloween primitives. One of my favorite things to do every year is search for new items to add to my collection. Um, I'm going to be going to a craft fair. I believe it's not next week and the one after. And this lady always makes really cool stuff. So I hope to get something new and share with you guys. Next, I got a few things from TJ Maxx. First was this cauldron candle. Um... I love witches, hocus pocus. I thought this would go good with my other decor. It's like a bright green, like a potion. It says the scent is um, love potion. It kind of smells like, kind of like a caramel apple in my opinion. And doesn't really describe it or anything, but I think this was like $10.99 or something like that. I also picked up these coffee cups with like witch hats. I thought these would be really cute to stick next to my Keurig. I usually just keep fall ones up, but decided to get a little Halloween touch for in the kitchen. And these were $4.99. And then not home decor related, but I got a lot of Halloween jewelry. So I know you guys said you're interested in seeing some more like fashion hauls and stuff. So um, first I picked up this little black cat in a pumpkin necklace. This I got again at that store, Boscov's. I don't have any Halloween necklaces, so I thought that was really cute. Um, from Shein.com, I got this multi-pack of um, Halloween studs. There's lots of different ones. There's little cauldrons, broomsticks, witches, ghosts, all different ones. And I like to put these in um, my second and the third holes of my ears. I found these little pumpkin pie earrings from Kohl's. They're by Lauren Conrad. Just like those summer earrings I shared a little while back in the video. And then these ones, they're like jack-o'-lantern pails. These are from Target, the Sugar Fix brand by Bobble Bar. 
a little more on the pricey side, but absolutely love them. And then I was at a craft fair this past weekend and I got these little witches riding on broomsticks. Hope you can see them there through the bag. But I absolutely love Halloween jewelry and um, I'm going to pull out some of the ones I already have to share with you as well. Um, this is my collection. I've pretty much gotten all of these in the last like, couple years. Couldn't even tell you where I got them all. Different places, but there's some candy corn, some ghosts. Uh, these little guys are from Shein. My favorites are definitely my skeleton earrings. Those silver ones um, are kind of cool because the head goes on the front of your ear and then the body dangles in the back. But I love the white ones probably the most. There's some little witches. And then there's some bats and some more jack-o'-lanterns. But always trying to add to my collection. I love wearing them the month of October. Then one of my favorite things that I picked up in this haul is this Hocus Pocus blanket. I got it from Kohl's. I saw it online and they were having a really good like sale. I think it was only $11. And it's the big one, I believe is the name of the brand. I have a lot of different blankets from them. They're a little bigger than your standard throw blanket. But I love the detail on this. It has so many things from the movie, from the book to the vacuum cleaner, the cauldron, the black flame candle. So many cute things. I love that it's the color purple and it's super soft to cuddle up with on the couch. So if I still see this online, I will put it down in the description box. Um, definitely pick this up if you are a Hocus Pocus lover or you know someone else that is. Next, I got this skull pillow. It is by the name Novogratz um, from, I believe it was Marshall's that I got this. Yeah, Marshall's. It was $16.99, and it is just like the jack-o'-lantern one that I shared a few weeks ago. It's like a real thick Sherpa, and it's so cozy. I love it. Um, there's also a ghost that I would love to find, but just haven't gotten lucky yet. But I think these pillows are absolutely adorable. They did so well with coming up with these. They're like kind of like pottery barn dupes in a way for way less money and great quality. Next, from Target, I got these animated lights. Um, there's a skeleton waving, a bat who's flying, and a ghost that's like waving his little arms. And these are a little on the pricey side. They were like $35 a piece. And they've been pretty difficult to find as well. But I got them to put in my upstairs windows of my house. I'm going to show you what they look like in the dark. Here is the bat. I mean, they're LED. They're really nice quality. They're not going to fall apart. They're going to last for years and years. So I just think of it as an investment. And I really wanted to just add some more light to the upstairs of my house and I thought these would be a great way to do it. The skeleton is probably my favorite. I think he's so cute waving. Um, this one was really difficult to find. Most stores were sold out. They were sold out online. But I eventually did find one for me and my friend at um, a Target that was like 45 minutes away. So if you see one, definitely grab one. I know people are selling them for pretty expensive online, but so, so cute, love him. And then the last one was the ghost. Kinda looks like he's doing a little dance. And yeah, I mean, there's a couple other ones to choose from too. I think there's like a cauldron, um, maybe a grim reaper. And then there were a few others that don't move but light up like a jack-o'-lantern and a skeleton head. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. I'm going to really enjoy what, uh, seeing what they look like putting them in my upstairs windows. Next, I did not buy any of these this year, but while I was cleaning out my stuff, I found these in a bag, and I got them, God, probably like five years ago from Michael's, so I apologize that you won't be able to get your hands on these, but I just thought they were too cute not to share. I think I got them for like 80 or 90% off back then, like after Halloween, 
and they're just too cute look at the wooden ones in the back i love how they have the little screws for legs so many cute things and i think this year now that i you know found them i think i'm gonna put them on a tree these ones on this side were from pier one and they have really cute little skinny striped legs so yeah i just thought i'd share them with you since i probably will be incorporating them into my decor one way or another this year And that was it for the haul portion of this video. Now I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I sold at my craft fair that I participated in. Um, first are my needle feltings. These are all of the little different guys and varieties that I came up with. I um, had a few more too, but they sold even before the craft fair. But I got some witches, some monsters... A spider, Frankenstein, some candy corn, and some ghosts. So many different ones, and I just, I don't know, I really enjoy making them. I like just putting a good TV show on and just sitting at night and making them, and it's just very therapeutic. Love them. And then I also made this sign over here that says, Boo, I just took some... Of my wool and I just made some more little ghosts and then glued them on there and then lastly I made these ghosts out of cheesecloth and they look really really cool at night you just you know get these battery operated candles I bought them off of Amazon and you just make them that they fit right up on in there and it looks so cool lit up at night. I'm going to show a clip of what they look like. And they're so cool. They're like just sheer enough that they let the light through. And the fact that it flickers makes it even better. And yeah, so these are a pretty big hit at the crafts uh, fair. I sold, you know, pretty much all of them. I think I might have a few left, but overall did really well and what I want to do today is I want to have a giveaway and I haven't had one in a very long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys like this video comment down below what is your favorite Halloween movie and I will just randomly pick somebody I'll put everybody's name in like an automator and if you get picked, and you must be subscribed to my channel as well, I will let you choose one of these little guys. You can either have the ghost, you could have a voodoo doll, and him has like a little uh, plastic on his head, like a string. That way you could hang him since he does not sit or stand very well. And um, the last choice would be this jack-o'-lantern here. So if you get picked um i will let you know in the next video who the winner is and then you can just drop me an email and let me know which one of these guys you would like to have so good luck um share this video with your friends if they would like to enter and that's about it so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul Definitely subscribe if you're new. Enter the contest down below. We're going to have more Halloween videos coming in the next few weeks. Um, working on decorating and getting my home tours together. So until the next one, I will see you guys then.